There's a very powerful hadith that shows us the dangers of showing off. The dangers of showing off your good deeds to other people. And that is a hadith reported in Bukhari and Muslim in which we learn that the very first people who will be called to task on the day of judgment and the very first people who will be rewarded or punished on the day of judgment will be the Hafiz of the Quran, the martyr, the Shaheed, and the one who gave of his money all the time for the sake of Allah. These are the first three people whom Allah will call in front of him. The memorizer, the Hafiz of the Quran, and the martyr who died in a legitimate expedition, and the charitable person. And as everybody is looking at them, they will think Allah is honoring them. Allah is rewarding them. Allah will give them the first share of the pie of Jannah. So Allah will ask this Hafiz, why did you memorize the Quran and why did you recite at these gatherings and at these masajid? Why did you go and do this? So the Hafiz will stand up with pride and he will say, Oh Allah, I did it to bring honor to your book. I did it for the izzah of the religion, for the glory of the religion. I did it for your sake, O oh Allah. And Allah will say, Kadabta, you're lying. And the angels will agree and say, you are lying. And the books will be brought forth and it will be clear that his intention, Allah will say, your intention was not to please me. You recited the Quran so that people would call you Qadi, Hafiz, Sheikh, and they did. So get your reward from them. And then the second person, the martyr, the one who waged a legitimate expedition and he gave his life for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will be asked, why did you spend your life in the way of Allah? And the man will say, because I wanted to bring help to the religion. I wanted to bring i'la al-kalima as we call or, or bringing help to Islam, glory to Islam. I wanted to defend the religion, defend the weakless and the homeless and the poor. I did it for your sake, O oh Allah. And Allah will once again say, kathabta, you're lying. And the angels will testify you're lying. And Allah will say, you only did it so that people could call you, mashallah, mujahid, mashallah, brave man, mashallah, you've done so much. And the people did. You got your reward from them, none from me. And the same with the third person, that he will say, I gave of my money to be a generous person for your religion. And Allah will say, kathabta, you're lying. And the angels will agree and say, you are lying. And Allah will say, you only did it so that you could be known in the community, so that people would call you generous. And that is exactly what they did. You got your reward from them, none from me. And then Allah will punish these three in front of all of the creation. And they will be the very first people to enter the fire of hell. And Abu Huraira was listening to this hadith and the Prophet ﷺ tapped his knee. And he said, Ya Abu Huraira, these are the first three people who will taste the fire of hell. The Hafiz and Qari and the one who is a Shaheed, the martyr. And the third one is the one who is generous. Why? Because their intentions were not correct. They had this mixing of intentions. They wanted to show off their deeds. And imagine brothers and sisters, imagine the fate of the person. He's doing good his whole life. And he thinks he's going to meet Allah with all of this good. And then he is told, you didn't do it for my sake. You did it for your own ego. You did it to, 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 to inflate your own prestige on the people. Why are you wanting me to reward you when you didn't do it purely for my sake? Imagine the fate of that person and therefore brothers and sisters, we need to make sure we are not that person. We are not that person on the day of judgment who is told you wasted your whole life and all of your deeds will be thrown back at your face.